A migration phenomenon gripped Europe. The double terror attacks in Paris shook it to its core. Big decisions lie ahead to find the right mechanisms to cope. So what's in store for the year ahead? It's time to find out. Welcome to the Agenda 2016. Emergency measures are in full force, but could the new year bring with it more permanent solutions and help the tens of thousands fleeing to Europe? Hungary became a major flashpoint in the ongoing saga as it closed its borders. Better management was sought via a relocation program. Out of 160,000, so far only around 200 have been transferred from worst affected countries to date. A permanent relocation system is in the pipeline. MEPs will also initiate proposals to find a holistic approach to migration. But could another proposal spoil Europe's dream of a land without borders? A European Coast Guard and border system will be voted on in March, but could member states oppose yielding sovereignty? Following the attacks in Paris, Brussels too fell victim to the dark shadow of terror, shutting down for five days. But a month on, the military presence on the streets of Brussels remains. But it's not just here, but across European cities. Is this to become the status quo? Europol, the European law enforcement agency, is set to be given greater counterterrorism capabilities, which could facilitate better intelligence sharing. If Europol was given oversight over a cyber police force, could that help prevent the online recruitment of young Europeans by jihadis? A big emphasis too will be made on education to counter the radicalization of young people and to stop the spread of hatred in prisons and online. Could the transfer of the data of passengers on international flights to law enforcement agencies help fight homegrown terrorism? A difficult political agreement was reached in December after the Paris attacks and will now be voted on by the full house at the beginning of the year. PNR goes hand in hand with a sensitive dossier on data protection, also in the stages of an overhaul. Just before Christmas, the three institutions shook hands on the data reform package, so the text can also be approved in the new year. And now for some stories expected to hit the headlines in the new year. Can the non-binding agreement forged at the COP21 climate change conference in Paris hold? MEP will continue to push for lower emissions by 2030 with an overhaul of the emissions trading system, emissions from road vehicles and also look out for a new energy union policy. Access denied? Not anymore. The fourth railway package is finally gathering steam. Domestic rail markets are set to be opened up to competition Europe-wide. Is Europe on track for a more customer-oriented service? Someone trying to steal your trade secret? Well, if you're a business, you can now take the thief to court if get compensation, but rights will not impinge on freedom of expression. With political agreement reached, the dossier will go to plenary in March. 2016 will also bring continuing efforts to stop the risky business of big banks. But when? We're here at the very festive Grand Place in Brussels. Now it's a great place to buy those last minute presents for Christmas. Ideally, I should have bought my presents online, but delivery costs across Europe are really expensive. The digital single market aims to stop geo-blocking, a practice that prevents users from accessing online sites based on their country location. And it will make shopping a lot easier across member states. Voting begins in January. And that's all we have for the Agenda 2016. We wish all of you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from everyone at Europhile TV.